What's happening, brothers? Welcome to another episode of Nate's Chocolate Convo. I'm Nate. This is the only podcast where building the man is the business. We're going to get right into this. Check this out. I was watching a young lady on her Facebook by the name of Kayan. If you know Kayan, she used to be with Love and Hip Hop of New York. She's also a rapper. And she was saying, I think it's an old post, and she was saying how she was, she went on a date after she met this guy and it didn't turn out well. And he did certain things. He said certain things to kind of hint to her that he wasn't stable. He wasn't right for her. This one right here is for you ladies, part two. You women, part two. Especially you black women, part two. When you meet a man, you have to vet a man. You have to look at him from top to bottom. Just like just like how a man studies a woman, a woman has to study a man. The best way to do that is meet him at a coffee shop or a park. Less distractions, more eye contact. Look him, look him into his eyes and ask him questions. Look at his mannerism, his demeanor, how he moves. Does he flinch when you ask him a certain question? Does he get irritated or does he get offensive when you ask him a certain question or say something to him in a certain way? You have to vet a man, watch how he moves with his cell phone. Is he always texting? That's rude anyway, unless it's business. Why is he texting so much? That phone should be on vibrate or off. Now, some men play the game where they leave their phone in the car. That's because other women are calling them and texting them. If a man really wants to get to know a woman, he will, he will meet a woman somewhere where they can have a whole lot of eye contact and they can have dialogue and whatever... There's nothing off limits on the table as far as the conversation, as far as the questions that she asks. He doesn't mind because just like he want to give her the truth, he wants the truth and he wants to give her the truth. So when you meet a man, meet him in a place where you guys can sit down and have dialogue. Just talk. Don't ride in his car. Don't pick him up. Let him meet you there. And when it's over, he goes home and you go home. The conversation on the phone, the same thing. If he's talking about sex a lot and you just met him, usually it's a red flag. If you hear him playing R. Kelly music in the background and you hear a little girl in the background, Usually a red flag. You might not, you might not want to deal with that, that nigga. Something ain't right. I'm just saying. There are, are little clues that will let you know if a man is not right for you or is he right for you. You have to pay attention to the subtleties. And the best way to do that is to be in a place where you guys can sit down and have dialogue. Y'all can speak. To each other, look him into his eyes and vice versa, and ask simple questions. It's just that simple. At the end of the conversation, you should know if there's going to be a second date or not. Start back to having conversations with men. Don't get caught up in the looks, the blame, the car, none of that. Pay attention to him and what's coming behind him. And that's how you vet a man. Just that simple. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you like these videos, click like. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos. Share this information, but most importantly, receive this information and apply this information. And you will see results. And as usual, 
one, two, peace.